Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony. And I'm CP. And today we're going to be reviewing Floris Special 127. So Charles Philippe, in our recent head-to-head uh, -head review of Winston Churchill's fragrances between this Flora Special 127 and the Penelagans of Blenheim Bouquet, we thought we'd do a specific review on this fragrance. As always, do you want to take it away and introduce the uh, bespoke unit fragrance formula to our viewers? Absolutely. This is a quantifiable review matrix that we use for all our reviews and make sure that it keeps us on track and it keeps us, you know, on the straight and narrow. So it's an objectified and justified review matrix that you can download and use at home. Just check the description below and there's a link to it. Perfect. So, Charles, when was this fragrance uh, introduced? This is an old one that comes from 1890. Oh, there we go. So that makes it uh, relevant for Winston Churchill himself. Mm. But is it relevant for us today? So do you want to give us a rundown of what to expect when we uh, spray this sucker? Absolutely. Give us a bit. Beans. There we go. So this is a citrusy... This is a citrus aromatic. So I expect citrus and aromatics, Sure. which means that the citrus isn't too sharp, isn't too zesty, and it's kind mm. of complemented by this herbaceous, uh, yeah. these herbaceous notes. So You're we compare this to like the Blenheim, for example, uh, mm. link above me and below. Um, that is just a uh, lemon and lime. You, yeah. you, you've sprayed sprite on you, basically. <laughs> you know, it's a little it. bit more refined than that, but yes, <laughs> yes, in a nutshell. But, but this is um, this has definitely got more depth, more character. Mm. Citrusy, but herbaceous, exactly. as you say, which definitely, and you know, when we have the dry down, you definitely get some some depth and musk in there as well. Oh yeah. So. Well, in the in the top notes in the head, you have bergamot, so you have your citrus, but you also have lavender, which adds this kind of floral uh, floral aromatic to it, as well as petit grain. Petit grain is uh, are the twigs on um, on a citrus tree that are cut mm. up and you have to extract the oils out of it. So you kind of get a green, very herbaceous note rather than just the citrus. Sure. And then in the in the heart we have something that's extraordinarily floral. You have geranium, rose, lang lang, and mm. jasmine. So we're there now, and it's you know almost this is almost a, a woman's fragrance but only temporarily yeah because for sure. then we get to the base. i believe that they actually uh, market this as unisex mm. however we zoom forward on our uh, bespoke into fragrance formula which is where we usually cover kind of the masculinity towards the end uh we'd say this is mildly masculine mm. and probably would not consider it a unisex fragrance oh absolutely once you get to the base you have patchouli and labdanum which are two sort of plant-based musky notes the patchouli is very earthy whereas the labdanum is a very sort of musky animalic uh note sure So seasonality, what time of year can you uh, wear this fragrance? Oh, this is an absolute spring summer fragrance, I'd say. Sure, I mean, agree, totally agree. If you look at all these uh, green, aromatic, herbaceous notes, you couldn't wear that in the winter or the autumn. Sure. And how are we doing on uh, performance, sillage, projection, longevity? Uh, you know this fragrance more than I do. Um, I would say from having tried it this time and yesterday, sure. it lasts but not for very long. We have a sillage which is kind of tight, projection is kind of tight. Sure. But how many hours do you get out of it? I mean, I'd say I get a good half a day, maybe plus, um, which is way more than we, we, I do from Blend and Bouquet, but I think there are other historical fragrances that perform better. For me, it's like an office fragrance, daytime fragrance. So I can put this on in the morning, probably expect good kind of performance until lunchtime, but I would probably have to get another bottle for the office or take this mm. to the office. So not ideal. Um, you know, maybe if you're in a, you know, a barbecue in the summer, um, oh, yeah. you know, at the weekend, maybe, maybe that's a good application for it, but we have rated this as a fragrance for kind of guys, 30s, 40s plus, daytime use, office stroke casual mm. uh, it's a little maybe complex for casual but maybe if it's a barbecue or a friend's house something like that would be good mm. uh, and again stating that it is kind of mildly masculine so uh, what did you get from the kind of third party feedback uh, I got kind of a lot it kind of 
all over the place. There was no general consensus. I was getting things of people, some people that you heard from really liked it. Yeah, some people loved it. Some people thought it was a feminine fragrance. Some people yeah. thought it was kind of masculine, a little bit musky. Again, depending on the time of the dry down. You yeah, know? exactly. Uh, I personally like it on my skin. My girlfriend likes it on my skin. Uh, are there better spring summer options? Uh, Creed Aventus, uh, yes, mm. you know, um, has this got a great story to it? It sure does. It was mm. worn by uh, probably one of the greatest men in British history, Winston Churchill, um, from a great London uh, house florist, if you're not aware of it. I believe they're on the 7th or 8th generation of family ownership okay. um, in London on German Street still, so that's actually a fantastic story, not to mention the Churchill connection, not to mention the fact that it's well over 100 years old. Um, that all has, um, you know, stuff going for it. Price point wise, what are we looking at? Looking about 135 bucks for 3.4 ounces, 100 mil. 100 mil. I mean, that does make it expensive. Um, I know you. I bought this directly from Floris in London, so I ended up paying that in in pounds. I can't remember. It may have been like 90 pounds, 95 pounds. Uh, you can find this online for around 80 to 90, sometimes 100 bucks. Links below on where to buy this. So yeah, that's kind of where we're looking at. So in your opinion, is this relevant and wearable today, Sean? I'd say that although it does have a, quite a retro, and maybe you could say dated aspect to it, it is also something that would be very attractive to those who appreciate historical fragrances. They're on the up and up. All these retro fragrances, such as Aramis, Paco Bampo, they're doing a massive comeback. So I'd say this is well among uh, a firm favorite for those who enjoy historical fragrances. Sure, I, I own this fragrance. I wear this fragrance in the summer. I'm 32 years old right now. I still think it's relevant for me, mm. uh, even though I'm a fragrance head. Um, you know, this is an, a nice alternative for the summer. It's not in my daily rotation, but mm. as I say, on the odd occasion, I want to mix it up, use something a little different, have that kind of historical connection. I think it's great. If it's the only spring summer fragrance you're going to buy, probably say no. Mm. If you're looking to add a couple more to the collection, maybe you like London, maybe you like Churchill, maybe you like some of the uh, the notes that we've mentioned in here, then it's probably worth a shot. But if you're, if you're buying it, um, you know, without smelling it, I'd say don't risk it. If you've got a small collection, maybe don't risk it again. Mm. And if you'd like to try something similar, actually, this reminds me very much of Tabac Original. You can see a review of that here and here. Of course, it's much less refined, but it is low on the price point. Then again, the, the real value behind this is its history and, and, the, it story. Is, and the story behind yeah. it. So, Sure. Well, guys, feel free to check out this review in line with the Blend and Bouquet, which were both of Churchill's fragrances along with a Creed fragrance that was a reformulation homage. As always, we really welcome your questions or comments below, questions about this fragrance, or comments on other fragrances you feel may uh, resemble this fragrance mm. or feel this better, uh, as well as anything else in the Bespoke Unit universe. As always, please like this video if you did, and... Tickle that subscribe button. <laughs> We're tickling today. Anyway, with that being said, my name is Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And from all of us here at Bespoke Unit, we'll see you next time. Take care.